Hey guys, how are you today? Happy Howl and Growl Day. That is what's going to be stamped on our card today. So we are doing another movie themed card. Um, another horror movie themed card anyway. Um, I, I've technically, <laughs> I do have a lot of werewolf type stuff. So um, I, uh, I'm going to do two cards. So this first card is going to focus more on Teen Wolf. And the second card is going to focus on um, uh, Silver Bullet. So, or it can be any, you know, imagine any um, werewolf movie of your past. So we're going to put this here, but I'm going to do my stamping first, I believe. All right. So... And by the way, I just embossed this card with a cool spider web um, embossing folder. Used a little prickly edge um, frame there. And okay, so let's get this going here. And I think I haven't tested this out first, but in my mind, it's going to be brown. It might look better in black. We'll have to see. So yeah, I don't know. We're just going to kind of go with it. And I've got this die that's going to kind of go over it. That, that should be about right. Okay. So, let's make sure. Oh, that one was wanting. Do you see it like pulling to that one? Draws me bonkers. No, you're not going over there to see your friend. All right. So, we've got to have a little moon because, you know, werewolves are howling at the moon and all that good stuff. Um... Uh-oh, that's not going to work. Oh boy. Okay, so we're going to have to take that off because one has cushion and one does not. So let's go ahead and ink up the uh, the werewolf. And we're using potting soil archival ink. Stamp that out. Um, I do apologize that I did say I was going to put lots of videos up this past week. This is from Viva Las Vegas, by the way. Um, but as you know, my little baby Taco was sick and, um, my dog. And, um, this has been a really tough week. She, uh, we did have to have her put to sleep. She was doing pretty good except for, like, the bathroom and things. And, um, she still wanted to go, so she would go out in the yard and she just insisted she wouldn't use the puppy pads anymore, nothing like that. But she wanted to go outside, and that was fine. But she couldn't make it back. She would get too weak and things. And so we would, you know, wait on her to go to the bathroom. And um, I was here. My dad would stay and watch her. I mean, like, it was, I don't know, the whole family kind of chipped in, I guess, and just helped with her. Um, everybody was always checking on her and things like that. So that was awesome. But, um she um, finally got to the point where she wouldn't eat um, or drink and couldn't get up anymore um, even though we would carry her back from the bathroom like in the bed or whatever to the porch and things that was that was fine for a while but then you know it kind of got beyond that point and then one day she just was having a really really bad day with the the no eating and she couldn't move and just it was just time you know and even though I don't like to talk about that or think about that um I can oh my god no way look at that I did it upside down holy cow all right we have a fix for that maybe maybe not maybe not <laughs> oh god um hmm, what can our fix be thinking I'm thinking maybe this I think this is actually going to look like crap but we'll see <laughs> so let's pop that down maybe if I stamped it yeah that's what I'll do I'll cut the ends off but I'll just stamp it down and I'll I'll put it on there it'll be fine okay um so anyway we uh we did have to take her my father called me at work and said um I was about to do it all over again um that he thought that she was just really not doing well 
And so I told my boss I needed a half a day. Actually, I couldn't even, I got out those words and then he was like, you know, yeah, sure, is anything wrong? And then I started crying. I was like, dog. And that's, that's really about all I could say. And I was in the wind and home in just a short time. And, um, so then we took her and the, I have to say it was, it can't be a positive experience by any means. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's horrible. But, um, but the people were super nice and, you know, very gentle, very sweet, very, you know, the best you could ask for in that situation. Um, they did come to my car, so I didn't have to take her in or anything because I didn't want her to be around other dogs or be, um, like she would just hear other dogs bark as they came in the parking lot or something. And, you know, she still didn't, she didn't like that. So I didn't want to stress her out at all. And, um, so she drifted gently to sleep. And so I have to stop talking about it right now or else I'm going to cry here. And I want this to be a happy video because it's about a werewolf. Um, but I did want to give you guys an update and I really do appreciate you guys checking on me and, um, checking on her and seeing how she was doing and carrying and things like that so but anyway um all right so we're gonna edge this so it's been it's been a pretty tough week and I have her daughter as well her doggy daughter and um she's taking it a little better than I thought I didn't know we did bring her home to bury her in the yard and um so I let all the dogs, like, I guess, help me with that or assist, you know, they're there. Um, and they did stay very close. And so, I don't know. It's, we're hanging in there anyway. So, all right. So that's enough of that. Um, I want to find, let me find some pop-up tape. I can't seem to find. I have to open another one. Um, anyway, so it's getting closer to Halloween, and, uh, everything is starting to look fallish around here, including the weather. The weather's turned pretty cool, and that kind of thing, and kind of rainy. I don't like the rain part, but I don't mind the cool, because that, that hot stuff from the summer was kind of getting old to me. Um, I like the changing of the seasons. I like to be in a place. I thought about moving many times, but I actually do like the changing of the seasons. Um, I could probably live without the snow, although I like to see it. I just don't like to drive in it. Um, so, okay. So, I believe that's all of our stamping part for this. Oh, step down. Okay, so I'm going to move this off. And we'll get back to our card making. Let me adjust this just a little bit. Okay. Um, so, we'll go ahead and peel the back off here. Okay. Alrighty. So, I've got that going. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've been taking this week to just kind of decompress a little and, uh, I don't know, you know, just, just spend time with the other doggies and, you know, making sure they're okay and things like that. So, but you will start seeing some more, um, card videos here very soon. And, uh, anyway, check out my new ring, by the way. It's like a little spider came in the mail the other day. It's kind of cute. It's a little bit big, but it's, it's okay. Um, I ordered a size 9, which is normally my size for my ring finger, I thought, but, um, it's not quite, it seems a little big. So, okay, now what are we doing? We're going to add this, we're going to add, no, can't add that yet. We're going to add this little die cut of a spooky tree, and hmm, I guess I'm just going to glue it on. I was going to maybe do some real thin tape, but I think I'll just glue it, because that's faster, and that's here. My fiance is gone to a ball game, um, a Marshall ball game today, and uh, so I am sort of mommy sitting in a way. Um, she's her sister's actually staying with her, but they're both really old and <laughs> basically, and um, you know she has Alzheimer's and things like that. And but anyway, so I'm going to go up twice and take them 
um, just kind of check on them and take them lunch and then take them dinner and check on them again and things like that so he can enjoy his ball game and hopefully I will be able to get a little crafting done today and we'll see how that goes. All right. Um, I'm pretty happy, honestly, to stay home this weekend. Just everything with taco and stuff. I just haven't been in the mood to really to travel. So that sounded like a great plan to me. Okay. So we'll just glue that on. Gently. And I just wanted to add these little spiders just because I have them and they're cut out. And um, I don't know. I just want to add them somewhere. So... We'll just do a little spider corner right there and one right there um, anyway so this card was kind of inspired by the movie Teen Wolf he reminds me of a little uh, you guys remember Teen Wolf back in probably the 80s I guess everything I seem to watch is in the 80s but um, with Michael J Fox and he um, he was just starting to turn into the werewolf and it was kind of one of those family things. Sometimes it would skip a uh, a generation, and his dad didn't know if it was going to. And then he turned. He hadn't actually told him anything about it, and so. But it it kind of showed um, being a teen and their view, I guess, from that. And so that was pretty cool. And he had this friend named Styles, and this pose reminded me when he was on top of Styles' van, um, and they were playing that song, uh, "Surfing in the USA." And he was kind of embracing it then. He was kind of known as the wolf. Um, so, but anyway, give me a comment if you have watched Teen Wolf and you remember that one. And so inside here, um, hopefully I won't mess up my glue stuff too much if I'm gentle. But I'm going to glue this down. Or I'm going to take this down, I mean. Um, on the inside for just a little message um, but I also want to kind of glue this hmm. Hmm. well eh, I don't know I just won't press it down just yet um, I think I'll just do that right there in the corner just as a little something and then I could still write a message so that's what I'll do um, but this is a really cool little I think it's by cottage cuts I want to say um, cute little die and uh, I love to hear my dogs howl by the way I know they're not necessarily like wolves but hey they're maybe descendants or something but anyway um, I love to hear them howl like they only howl when maybe a train or something goes by or they'll hear a fire truck or something like that but um, I don't know I just think and one dog he's a horrible howler he sounds crazy but the other the other two are pretty pretty good at it so um but I just think that's such a ancient something I don't know it's just awesome to hear them howl so anyway guys all right so that is um our card for today werewolf card so remember this weekend to howl and growl all right bye guys <laughs>